Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, today we're starting out on the first episode of Solids, starting specifically with the box. So first off, let's just write box and set one here. Right click, set one box, like so. Okay. We also we also have three more complex ways of setting up boxes. So we have the two points. Okay. Let's just leave that there. We've got, uh, hold on, the center box, which is one of the most common. And of course, we have the um, box rectangle. Here we are. Okay, so how do we set the, uh, these up? First off, the, uh, this one here, which it presets itself. I'm just get rid of this one. <clears throat> so, the first thing we need we do here is to uh, set up its space. So I'll just place a random point here. I mean, I'm even gonna 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 give it some height, and then set it here in Grasshopper with a right click. Set one one point like that. And now, if I connect it here, the entire cube will be moved to this position. And the good thing about this this um, battery here is that now we can simply edit its measurements however we like. So if I give it different measurements for all its uh, the coordinates x, y, and z, now I can simply go in here and reduce them like so, adjust them as I see fit, like that. And of course if I move this point around it will follow suit. Okay, the second one here is uh, gen generating generating a cube based on a plane. So if I put in a plane like this, usually you should focus on a rectangle, but a simple irregular plane can also work. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put this away. So if I just write in surface, for example, set one surface, and then I add it in here it will naturally generate a rectangular shape based on this plane and of course a pre-generated height which I can now change if I connect this value here and now I can easily adjust well <laughs> in this case both their heights since they're both con uh, connected the other method is by using uh, two points as the as the extremes I'm gonna give this one some random height and if I write in point Control C, Control V, like that, and then the simple process of adding in, like so. I can just connect this one into the A parameter, this one into the B parameter, and now we have our generated box here, which you can just uh, adjust by moving these points around. If you want to change the uh, the very uh, world axes or the the orientation of how this box is generated. Uh, we can use this one here as an as an example. This plane here. We just go in here. We connect it, and now, as you can, I can see, this generation has now been changed, or at least rotation-wise. However, if you do wish to ro to rotate to rotate this box, we can just connect our result with the with the geometry input. We can give it, and I'm going to generate it here, a new slider. This one goes from 0 to 1, uh, 100, and then it will rotate like that. Now, as you can see, it naturally will rotate according to the, world, the world's origin. And to change this, we can select one of our previous points. So now it will rotate around it. However, you will notice that if I place this at the 90 degree location, like this, it's not exactly at a 90 degree position in reference to the, to the original box. And why does this happen? Because it's set to, to radians, and you can, sh you can change this by simply putting in degrees with a right click, and now it, tr it, it adjusts this like so. And you can also change th that very origin point. And of course, the same thing goes if you if you want to change from one geometry to to uh, to to another. 
And now you can just adjust like so using, oh, hold on. Yes, using this point as your reference for said, ro said ro ro rotation. And of course, the same thing here, like this. And same thing goes on, oh, like so. Okay guys, so this so this has been a very simple tutorial on how to set, generate, and and rotate uh, various types of uh, boxes. Uh, I hope this has been very helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to anyone who might find this useful. And uh, I hope to see you all here next time. Okay, bye.